do a little review of these um, new squishy face float poles that I've got in stock. Um, float poles are great for training. Uh, obviously, you, there are some safety things to consider. You do need to teach your dog to take. You need to teach your dog to give the item up. But you also need to get quite good at using them mechanically because what you don't want to do is um, get your dog twisting or flipping um, and or giving yourself a black eye. Not that I'm going to admit to doing that. Um, anyway, there are some safety considerations to do with using flirt poles, so do be careful in that regard. But they're very good for training lots of different behaviours. I use them with Aria for training impulse control, so I can teach her also different positions around distraction engagements type training so I'll expect her to sit down or stand when I'm moving the pole around and you'll notice when you start to add distractions like that there's sometimes a bit of a lag on your dog's response they're like oh I don't know if I can do it or not um, I teach heel work using a float pole as well because I quite like Aria's head down when she's healing because that helps with her herded training and talking of which I have taught her the flanks of a way and come by, walk in, emergency stop, all of those using a float pole. Um, so there's loads of stuff you can do with them. I just thought I'd share a little video and give you a bit of a review. So this one that I'm holding, it's actually a bit better than the one I bought. Um, it's got two squeakers in it. This end piece is also washable. So if it gets a bit manky, you can wash it and it comes in two sizes so you've got a shorter one there and a really long one there so the shorter ones are better for sort of close distance work and the longer ones for training further away so that's a little review of them again you do need to be mindful of the dog's safety when you're using them and also your, your own safety sometimes it's useful to practice uh, using a float pole without your dog present so you can get used to flipping it up and catching it putting it back out flipping it up and catching it um, and it's useful for training lots of other behaviors anyone that's in class as well will often see me running around with a float pole to try and distract their dogs while they're working them because that's how you make behaviors robust okay I hope you found that helpful Bye.